Kirk pressures Scotty to sign off on these torpedoes. And Scotty doesn't want to sign off on the torpedoes. And signatures mean something. You, Kirk forces right. Scotty to quit so that he can move somebody in position to sign the document. Like, it, it's, he, it's part of Scotty's job to know what the dangers are on the ship. And he can't sign off on this if Scotty doesn't know. Mr. Scott, I understand your concerns, but we need these torpedoes on board. No specs, no signature. Captain. Sign for the torpedoes, that's an order. Right, well, you leave me no choice but to resign my duties. Oh, come on, Scotty. You it's accept signed. my resignation or not? I do. I do. Are you okay? Fine, thank you, Lieutenant. Actually, Scotty just quit. You are the one who quit. You made me quit. <laughs> it's so bad. Like. I'm going to make my engineer sign off on things so I know we're in fighting shape, everything's good to go. But as soon as mm -hmm. I disagree with the signature, you're fired. In fact, when I talk to other people, I didn't fire you. You quit. It's your fault. That's not you fair. That's, that's not fair at all. It also diminishes the power of the signature. The signature right. is the engineer putting a stamp on it saying this is safe and ready. Right. If he doesn't believe a... that, what the heck? This is a real thing. So, so engineers, they, when they, when they sign their signatures on whatever design documents, mm -hmm. it's been, it, it's a statement of, I, as a professional engineer have signed on this. It is good. It is safe. It is repeatable. It's strong, whatever they're designing for. Right. And so then they, they pay a lot of money and do a lot of training for these credentials so that they, when they sign it, something it's, it's a, an approval that means something. It's like, it's not yeah. just a kid saying their name. Like it's, it's, it's a real, this has been mm -hmm. approved by whatever our, our, our current mm -hmm. understanding of engineering is and so i really like this about scotty he's like sticking to his guns like this is my professional legitimacy if i if i i can't just say yes to something i'm not unaware about and then kirk does this clever but <laughs> awful it, like this corporate thing where they're like you're not going to do it okay you're fired who's next you're not going to do it you get you're fired who's next you're going to do it okay you you approved but right. then when things go wrong then they're like, oh, this is some underling. He signed off and he shouldn't have because he didn't know what he's doing. But, right. but you created this situation where that's his only choice. Mm -hmm. I think I think corporate people do this all the time. They're like, fired because you didn't sign off. Fired because you didn't sign off. And then sign. And then it's a problem. I'm trying to think of an example. Like, Why'd you sign it? You shouldn't have done that. Like, yeah, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have signed it, even though I fired everybody who didn't sign it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, and then the wild thing, the wild thing is when, when he's later on, when Kirk's later on, is like, well, you quit. It wasn't me. It was you quit. Like that's mischaracterizing it. Like, no, 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 no. Right. If, if I'm a doctor and I refuse to do a surgery for safety reasons, because I made the call and they're like, you're fired, you're fired. You're out of here. Next doctor up. I also refuse to do the surgery. You're fired. The next doctor comes up. Sure. I'll do it. I'll get paid. Right. And then when something goes wrong, the family sues the hospital. You're like, but the family made, they kept firing doctors until they got a right. yes person. I mean, it's, that, it's like, it's you, you, let's think about the, the logical progression. It's you select for personalities that are willing to do things that are unsafe. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you have a, if you have a helicopter pilot and it's like, yeah. I don't feel comfortable flying in this weather. It's, it's against FAA regulations. You're not supposed right. to fly. Well, then you're fired. And like, well, then you get the next one. It's like, no, you're fired. Like, well, I'm a celebrity. I want to fly. Then you eventually get down to the pilots that are like, I'll do it. Yeah, sure. I'll, right. I'll send it. Sure. So but you're filtering. That's not for, a safe person. Right. That's not safe. You're either filtering for risk takers or pushovers. And those are not in a lot of powerful positions where signatures mean something. You do not want those you people, want which means people who have power have to accept their signature they, or lack yeah. of signature when when they hear no there's a professional reason for the no gotta respect right that. gotta respect it so kirk here is really really out of line mm -hmm. he's full not only of does not only does he order scotty to do the signature he then characterizes scotty's re resignation as him quitting as if he's just a quitter he's a quitter like awful, it's awful. This is terrible on Kirk. Absolutely terrible. Gosh, it's like truck drivers. If if so, they like the they have incentives to get the deliveries on time, maybe even early. Mm -hmm. 
but so then you push the drivers to go faster and work in harsher conditions but then when they're like this is too harsh i'm falling asleep with the wheel i almost had an accident today like i can't do this then you're like well you quit but you put me in a situation where quitting is the only good option the only option you're like well he just he didn't want to drive his truck he's a he's lazy like you didn't have the right stuff actually we have regulations about how much time behind the wheel we have how much brake we need to have and all these different things and you're asking me to violate it and now you're characterizing it as quitting this is this is totally unfair mm. slander kirk